بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسد یعقوب ہیئر ونس اگین ان انگلش اٹ از سیٹ اٹ از ایٹ دا ٹائم اٹ از ایٹ دا ٹائم آف یور ڈسیجنس دیٹ یور ڈیسٹنی از میڈ ٹانی رابنس مائی فیوریٹ ماٹیویشنل اسپیکر اٹ از ایٹ دا ٹائم آف ڈسیجنس دیٹ یور ڈیسٹنی از میڈ سو دیٹ از وائی یو شوڈ ڈسائڈ وائزلی Now, many of you are actually preparing for IELTS, but there are just few of you who will make it to the exam. And then even the fewer of that few will get their desired band. And then the fewer of that fewer will actually apply and get the visa and reach the destination country. So what's the difference? Why, if thousand people apply, thousand people want to go to a foreign country, if there are 1,000 candidates of IELTS, out of 1,000, only 10 to 15 people reach and other, they don't reach. What's the difference? It is at the time of decisions that your destiny is made. Now, some of you actually decided to watch this video. Not some, all of you. You decided to watch this video. You got the notification or the video appear in front of you and you decided to watch this video. Others, they didn't watch this video. They neglected, they ignored and all that. In the same way, there are two type of things that we do whenever any, any stimulus comes in our life. The one thing is we ignore and the second is we react. Always remember the things that we ignore, they never grow in our life. Now, there are many people who have ignored IELTS. Many people who have, who have uh, ignored the idea of going to a foreign country. But still, there are people like you who are reacting to the idea or stimulus of going to a foreign country. <coughs> so, the way you are today... It is just because of what you ignored and what you accepted, accepted in the past that has made your present. And at present, whatever you are going to ignore and whatever you are going to accept, that is going to make your future. Very, very simple. No rocket science at all. So my point is, if you are into IELTS, if you have decided to practice, prepare for IELTS and you've decided to sit in IELTS exam, then there should be your 100% involvement in it. For the time being, you should say no to every other thing. And for the time being, you should say yes to everything which is related to IELTS. Now, how to do it all? Very, very simple. The first thing is your day plan. Now, if the plan of the day has got IELTS in it, most definitely, you know, the area of your life you touch that starts growing, whatever. For example, once upon a time, I touched my weight. I was overweight. I touched that area of my life. I lost my weight. And then I untouched that area of my life and I gained weight. So whatever you touch, that is going to actually, actually going to change. You will see improvement in that area and whatever you leave or whatever remains untouched in your life, that is going to go in any direction. Okay. So as far as IELTS is concerned, this is something you need to embrace actually. Okay. Absolutely. So your day planner. Start your day with a couple of listening tests and I strongly advise that. Two listening tests in the morning can actually teach you good English, can actually <coughs> feed you good English, okay? And their accent, their pronunciation, because in the morning time, things are fresh and active. It depends when does your morning start. Please go down this video and comment when you wake up in the morning and do let me know your country, city and your name. Name will appear, just write the name of your city and country. I just want to see where you guys are from. So, in the morning to listening tests with proper debriefing, debriefing of the wrong answers. And after that, now it is for those who actually want to reach their destination country. 
If you're not interested to reach your destination country, please stop watching this video and go. We don't need you. This video is only for serious people who are smiling at me and their eyes are telling me that they are 100% sure that one day they are going to reach their destination country. Sooner or later, they will be there. Most definitely. And you will be there, guys. I'm telling you. I mean, just after a couple of months, half year, one year, you will realize what I mean today. And then you will come back to text me on my WhatsApp and all that. I, I'm sure about that, okay? Many students have done it already. So anyways, listening with debriefing, debriefing of the wrong answers which you picked up from the audio and at the same time watch my videos. I would say solve one test with me by watching my videos on YouTube and solve two tests on your own, adopting the way which you learned from my videos and then you are teaching yourself how to do IELTS listening, how to deal with wrong answers and all that. Once that is done, now you can pick up reading test. And I would say initially one reading test a day, but otherwise two reading tests a day. They are highly recommended, especially if your reading is weak, you can do more tests, but don't do more tests blindly. First, you should watch some of my videos on IELTS reading, part one, two, three, okay? And then you should try to solve a test and see how many answers are correct, how many answers are required to get your desired band, where are you now, where do you want to reach, what is the distance, are you behind 10 questions? Are you behind 15 questions? Are you behind 5 questions to get your desired band? You should be crystal clear about all these things. And once you are clear, gradually, question by question, for example, you are 10 questions behind your desired band. You need 30 correct answers for 7 band, you are getting 20. Take test after test and try to focus your mistakes and then 21 correct answers, 22, 23, 24. Question by question, you're going to come closer to your desired bench score. This is all about reading. Now again, commitment. You know, the people who believe in the beauty of their dreams, they literally work hard to achieve their goals. And those who don't believe in the beauty of their dreams, they fall by the wayside. They don't reach their destination. Okay, that's the important point. Now, after this, you're going to go on and you're going to pick up speaking module. If you have a speaking partner, that's very good. If you don't have a speaking partner, just pick up any IELTS speaking book or in Cambridge IELTS books, there are four speaking tests. So you can just read the question, answer the question. Read the question <coughs> and answer the question. This is how you can be familiar. And then my videos, I've recorded around four or five hundred videos on speaking part one, part two, part three. So you can watch those videos through the playlist on my channel. Whenever you go to my channel, go through playlist, you will find proper folders and there are videos in them. Otherwise, my channel has more than 4000 videos. Okay, yes. See the level of commitment I have with my students and all that. Okay, the chair has gone down. All right. So let's go on speaking. For part two, you can record your voice, cue card, mini presentation, record your voice, speak, talk, and then listen to yourself. This is how you can be familiar with the topics. For part three, read the questions and then answer. And even you can do one thing, record all the questions. For example, you can have the recording here and you can record the questions from the book. What is your favorite color? How often do you go for shopping? What do you do in your free time? Now play this audio and then pause it. For example, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red and it has been my most favorite since my childhood. And even today, I like red color. I know it's a symbol of love as well. So to answer your question, red is my favorite color. Again, play. Second question will come. Answer. Next question, let me tell you guys, if you are resourceful, everything will become a resource for you. 
मोबाइल विल बिकम अ रिसोर्स फॉर यू एवरीथिंग विल बिकम अ रिसोर्स फॉर यू बट इफ यू आर नॉट रिसोर्सफुल ऑल द रिसोर्सेज विल गो वेस्टेड एंड यू विल नॉट पे अटेंशन टू ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आर अराउंड यू okay so this is how you can practice speaking and finally as far as writing is concerned you can watch my videos on four types of essays problem solution advantages disadvantages opinion and discussion number of paragraphs what to write in each paragraph i have made detailed videos on all type of essays once you watch those videos you are going to be crystal clear about them and even for task 1 letter or report i've got my videos and then try to read some sample answers in cambridge ielts book at the end of the book they have given some sample answers read those sample answers for band 6 6.5 and 7 don't read sample answer of four band that will make your english uh, week as well so once you go through all these things try to write essays read the topic write an essay read the topic write an essay and don't worry if there is no one around to check that you can check your essay write an essay put it away and after half hour one hour pick it up hold a red ball point in your hand and start checking your essay so this practice will actually help you develop good writing tasks again i tell you resourcefulness is inside us if we have that resourcefulness we will actually use all the resources around us and then these resources are going to become wings for us and with the help of these wings we will fly high to our destination and if you are not resourceful at all you will blame everything and at the end you will never succeed in doing whatever you wish to do so the point is very simple i congratulate you that you have watched this video until this point this thing shows your determination this thing shows your commitment this thing shows your uh, perseverance this thing shows your tolerance and all that remember the people who succeed in life they have patience they can tolerate hunger they can tolerate thirst and all that okay so if you have all these things right if you have patience if you can wait for things to happen then you are going to be successful one day and if you are impatient you cannot sacrifice your sleep you cannot control your hunger you want to quench your thirst all the time you cannot live without that then most definitely your goals will remain goals in your life they will not become reality i'm not a motivational speaker but this is my duty because you guys all over the world are my responsibility exactly you know by going to a foreign country you are going to do a great favor to your country it's going to be a great favor on your country that you are going to a foreign country to send some foreign exchange that your country needs desperately all the best guys i also teach ielts online all over the world and on campus here in lahore if you want to be the part of my online or on campus ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub truly wishes you best of luck with sore throat take good care of yourselves allah hafiz